everybody, it's Christine. It is time for Iron Crafters. And our ingredient this month is string, twine, fiber, you know, something along those lines. And I have a couple things. So, um, first let me show you the picture. This is my me and mama, me and my mama. And we were at the Playa del something. Maya, Playa del something. <laughs> it was on our cruise. And I think this is cute. And this... What I have is a Scrap Room Flavors of the Month. It's actually Chanel's main character, Energy. I've used it for something. I don't recall what now. This is terrible. I should be able to remember my layouts. But this is what I have left. And I thought, this has this little picture frame deal. And I thought, you know, I can cut this. I can go like this. And that's kind of cute. I'll, I may I may leave it big. I haven't decided if I'm going to like go ahead and like do like that and leave it. Because like, I love having like the palm trees. Like, I may do it like this. So that's kind of covered up this weird... Um, I don't know, vendor deal here, but then our shoes too. So that, I might do that. Um, then what I have is all these older Stampin' Up! Twines here. And I th what I kind of want to do is like a water, psh, like a thing coming out like this. So I haven't decided exactly the design other than that. <laughs> So I've got a little bit of ephemera here. There's some florals and stuff. I'm gonna set that aside for the moment. Of course, there's this, I do like this where it says, this speaks to my heart. I love that a lot. And that's probably gonna be my title. I'm, I've gotta make that work. But I'm kind of imagining what I might do here. Um, I love this bold stripe. Uh, this is pretty, but I need to trim that off. Um, I love the bold stripe. So I may bring this down you know what, if I come down and like this, and then if I have the picture down here, and I want the strands to come out like this. So I don't know that I'm gonna get to use this or not. I love it a lot. I don't know, I'm gonna think on that one, because if I want the strands to come, I mean, I need something to cluster down here. I can't have it by itself. So um, I'm thinking on that one. I'm gonna think on that one, because I have the ledger and I have the floral. And of course, if I got this, I will have this set of paper. I'm gonna, I'll have that as well. So I might can make all that work. But again, my thinking is I'll do this and then I'm gonna have the string. What I'm saying about that, by the way, I don't know if I'm explaining it, is I want it to kind of come out and be like, you know, like this, right? And I'm gonna do a lot of it is my goal. So that's where I'm at. So let me, um, let me cut this. I'm gonna kind of imagine my cluster because I don't have that figured out exactly yet. I mean, I have the nice things I do have all those little ephemeras and stuff. So I'm gonna do that. And again, think on, I love this little floral pattern, but just don't know, y'all, I have to think on it. So let me do a little cutting up. Let me stop rambling, because I'm rambling. I'll be back on in a second. Well, you guys, you guys, <laughs> you're gonna see a lot of thought process going on here. So what I've done at this point is I have gutted that stripe paper and trimmed down that navy blue cardstock to 10 inches square. Um, I think I gutted out nine inches out of the straps and then I've got I've glued the little frame down on top of the photo because I know that's what I want to do of course then I caused myself a trouble by doing that because I then decided I wanted to mat the photo on the stripe paper and of course the little picture frame now is kind of in the way and because I tilted it and so now my my problem is my right-sided mat is a little thicker than the left-sided mat and it was <laughs> causing me a little angst here you guys so I kind of mess with it and I lift the frame and all that kind of stuff. I finally get it matted the way I want it to. And then I'm kind of looking, I go, well, I like the little floral here. I can use that as a photo mat. So I'm going to use that as another photo mat. And um, I like how this looks pretty good. Well, actually, it's a little crooked there, so I got to fix it. But in a second, I'm going to kind of mat this and everything. I'm going to kind of like it, but I still have all this other paper, you guys. So I set it off to the side there for a minute. I'm trying to get this just the right size. And I set it off to the side for just a minute, and I'm looking at it, and I'm kind of, again, as I mentioned to you, I'm kind of imagining this cluster in this lower left corner with these sprays of string coming out, right? So I set that there, and I'm going to start messing with these florals. I only have two, which is plenty, um, except I couldn't really figure out how to do it where they laid. I just, I didn't like, I, I'm going to mess with it in a second, but I, I decided before that, I go, I looked over and I saw all that paper yet still, and I go, I can't let all that paper just stay there. So I decide, you know what, I'll flip over the stripe and I'll use the little star looking paper and I'll use the ledger and I'm gonna create another set of layers here. Um, I like this a lot, I'm gonna kind of offset them. It's just gonna create kind of this back and forth a little bit here. 
And I think that just builds up my cluster, and I really like this, actually. Ultimately, I love this layout. I'm not going to lie. It turns out it, doesn't, it didn't actually take me all that long, except for the gluing of the string was just a bit time-consuming, but not difficult. Um, here's me again messing with these florals. I kind of wanted to use both of them just to get them used, but ultimately, I'm going to decide just to use the one. It's just the two are not going to work. Um, I'm looking at this. I'm still struggling with it, so then I decide I need to scuff the edges of the papers. <laughs> I think we all do that where we're like working on a project and we know kind of we're, we're kind of stuck, but there's other things that we know we want to do. And so we'll do those first. So that's kind of what's happening here in just a moment. I'm, I'm still messing with these florals thinking I can make it work. And I'm like, no, I don't like that. So what am I going to do? Well, I'll just scuff the edges. <laughs> so I'm going to go around my little photo mats here. I'm going to scuff the edges of my photo mats. That takes me just a second. And then I'll assemble all that into another little block, and I'll only end up using the one floral. Now, real quickly, before I start doing other things, I'm going to tell you the photo here. This is me and my mama, like I said. It's at the Playa del... I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't remember. It's Playa del something. It's the, it's the first stop. It's the first stop on the cruise, that particular cruise. It's Caribbean Caribbean cruise with uh, Royal Caribbean, I guess is the name of that cruise line. Um, anyway, it's the first stop, and this is where we actually had the dolphin experience first. So you get off the boat, you go do your dolphin experience, but there's still a good hour or more or something like that before you have to get back on the boat. So, you know, we had our clothes on and everything, so we just wandered over to the little shopping area. Um, it might, might have been close to two hours now that I say that, because we stopped and got like a little ice cream. Um, we tried to find my mama some shoes. Her shoes, her feet were bothering her. And the problem is they wanted way too much money. I mean, they act like they're all these good deals. And maybe they are for what you're getting. I really don't know. But she just needed a pair of little old sandals to get back up the pier. And my God, we're not spending $50 on a pair of sandals. So we didn't get her anything. And I felt kind of bad about it. But at the same time, it was a waste of money if she didn't like them for long-term wear. So, But that's kind of where we were. And there were some cute little decorative things because they know tourists come. So this big old fish statue deal. Um, I love, love, love this little heart on this thicker set. I think it's just so cute how it's got that little cutout part. And then this word heart actually fits right in it. So I've laid it down. I'm not I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to move it just quite yet because I thought, well, I haven't got my heart uh, word in there yet. But it actually works out perfectly fine. Um, so I've got my little heart down there, and I'm going to put the word heart. And this looks so cute. I love this. And then there's another thing that says um, this speaks to my, I guess it's the little pink phrase. And I'm going to kind of look for a spot for that for just a second, but it's going to end up basically on top of the little um, photo deal there. Now, I will have to add a little piece of foam uh, strip underneath that right-hand side because all those all those layers of paper there has created a bit of a, a gap underneath it, but that's not a big deal. I'll do that later. I don't think I do that until I'm off camera, though. So now I've decided, okay, it's time to do my string, right? This is my ingredient, um, this, this um, string slash fiber. And so I start with the purple because I figured it's a little bit like the rainbow. I'm going to start kind of doing it. I'm going to do it kind of in rainbow color. I think I use every color. I can't swear on it, though, you guys. I know I use six or seven. I, I use most of them. If I don't use every one, I kind of pretty much do. But So I take my art glitter glue and, no, sorry, berry art glue. And I, I started to do, use Nuvo, but Nuvo sets up pretty quickly. And I didn't know if I was going to need to uh, move it around or work with it or something. So I used this other glue. But it worked out perfectly fine. So I just kind of made myself a little swirl. And then I take my string and I just kind of lay it down in there, press it down in my glue and trim it and just make myself a little swirl. And I'm going to do one more so you can kind of see kind of what I'm doing. I do. I started to write pencil marks or at least I had in my head I might need to do pencil marks. I didn't. I just said, you know what, just go for it. Just do a swirl. It's all right. Um, I think I had to trim the edge of that or something like that. So here I go again. Whoop, there we go. And I just kind of make it like a little swirl. Um, actually I kind of mentally practice, I should say, I don't put the glue down until I do like one swirl mentally before I actually do the glue. It's not like I can see it. I guess in my head, I was thinking kind of muscle memory or something, right? Um, so I'm going to do the second one, just like I did the first one. And, um, I'm seeing, uh, the second one goes here. And again, I was kind of pleased. I didn't, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I had a particular plan on where they were going to go exactly other than I just, like I said, I kind of want them to just kind of come out of the picture and come up across the page and all that. But I'm really pleased. They turned out good. Um, the one on the left, on the far left, is probably a little bit wonky, but honestly, they look like they're kind of intentionally handmade and wonky anyway. So no big deal, right? So I got them all glued down. I'm going to do this little piece of 
Um, this little phrase over here, it says, having fun or something. I'm sorry, I can't see it. The cat is sitting on the layout at the moment. Um, but I put a little bit of foam up underneath it. It's going to go up over the top here. Yeah, having fun. And down underneath, I'm going to... I put the little piece of foam strip up underneath the one little... Oh, my, my flowers here. I'm going to put a foam, foam squares up underneath my little floral. And that's going to go up over that bottom corner down there. I really almost had to do that just again, like I said, because of all the paper layers. And it had definitely created a bit of a bit of dimension with that. And then I'm looking at my strings. And I kind of didn't like that they just started, like randomly just started um, off the page there. So I'm going to get back onto my little thicker sheet over there, my little foam thicker sheet. And there's little colored dots and little hearts and things like that. And I'm going to pull those off in just a moment. I'm going to use those as kind of my little starter point for the strings. Um, one of the hearts is a little bit tricky, but, and I just kind of try to do a little variety. So you'll notice I just kind of put like a little heart and a little dot and a little heart. They're not like a particular order or anything like that. Um, the one on the lower right, I kind of messed with for just a brief second because I tried one heart first and I didn't like it. So I switched out for a little bit smaller heart. These are not in rainbow order. I really just was actually trying to make sure the shapes were a little bit of a variety. Um, and then there was one last little heart on the sheet, and I kind of messed with that. I kind of look for a spot, look for a spot, look for a spot, and it's going to end up next to the little having fun. So um, I think I'm still just looking for the little pieces here, but I just kind of, I didn't like that they just started kind of in the middle of the page. I mean, it probably would have been fine, but I just thought, you know, I got these little pieces anyway. I might as well use them. So this is that heart. I'm trying to find a home for him. I'm like, yeah, I've got to find a home for this heart. I've got this one last heart. i got to put this heart here somewhere on this page. And so I'm going to move it around, move it around. But like I said, it's going to end up next to having fun in just a moment. And then I'm looking at it and I go, okay, it looks a little bit like, you know, ocean swirls. It's kind of my thinking. So I'm going to run over and get my Mr. Hueys. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of um, white paint. Not a lot, but in my head I go, it looks a little bit like ocean spray. So that's kind of what I got going on there, you guys. And that's all I'm going to do this layout. I think this turned out really cute. I'm kind of happy with it. It's fun. It's energetic. It's got some movement. And I love it. So make sure you guys check out the playlist below. I'm interested to see what everybody else is doing. Um, this is a fun little technique. I mean, of course, we always got the strings and fibers and things like that. So check it out. And we'll see you next time. Bye.